Hello everyone. Welcome back to a site for sore eyes. Well, winter's here. Definitely here. We have 14 inches on the ground from the last couple days and tomorrow they're calling for up to 16 inches more. We'll have to see what happens, but yeah, I'm sure we're going to get quite a bit. Uh, if you like snow pictures, now would be the time to go out and take some. That's what I've been doing for the last couple days. I took the D200 out and spent some time in the cold temperatures, like minus five Fahrenheit. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't spend too much time out there, but I, enough. I got some nice pictures. This time, I. Uh, did something a little different with the Nikon D200. I, I picked, fixed that guy up really good with this lens. This is the Nikon 200 to 500 lens. I usually use this with my D, Nikon D500, but I thought I'd give the 200 a try, and I'm glad I did, because I wasn't disappointed at all. That, that combination really did quite well and I'm going to show you how well it did so without any more rambling or anything from me let's get right to the pictures and we'll talk about them after I come back here we go Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? That's what I thought anyway. I took most of those pictures um, handheld. The daylight ones I did for sure. The, there's some night pictures there. Those, of course, I used a tripod. I was really 
pleasantly surprised that the VR on that lens worked with the with the D two hundred. The only thing that I couldn't get to work was uh, the aperture. I had to leave it at five point six. I I couldn't find any way to change that. Uh, but that's okay because that's what I generally shoot at uh, most times anyway. But yeah, the, the VR worked nicely. I, I was kind of surprised at that. And uh, it worked really good actually. You'll see, you, as you've seen in some of those pictures, they're nice and sharp, even handheld. I was just surprised. And, and the only problem I had was the batteries in the cold weather. Boy, they don't last long at all. I think they're getting old. These are pretty old batteries I've got. I've had them for several years. So maybe newer batteries would work better. But yeah, if you have a D200, don't hesitate to try uh, try some new stuff with it. Try some new lenses, see if they work. Uh, this The D5, uh, the 200, uh, rather the 200 to 500 is, is a G lens. And so there's no way I can manually uh, set the aperture, I guess. So that's that's what caused that problem. But other than that, yeah, she worked really good. As usual, I chose one of the pictures and I uh, printed it out on my uh, P800 Epson printer. And this is printed on uh, uh, cold press natural paper, uh, tw uh, 13 by 19 inches. I printed another one out, but it's a winter picture and there's not a, there's only a couple of little spots of color in it. So I, I chose a different one. And, and so I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit and then you'll see what I'm talking about here. So this is, this is also one of the pictures that was on, on the slideshow. This young man showed up after I'd been out there, you know, a few minutes and boy was he having a lot of fun on that snow machine and, and zooming up and across the lake. This is at Lake Lucille in Wasilla. Every picture you see, you saw in that slideshow was taken within the city limits of Wasilla. So yeah, we it's a pretty nice place if you like winter up here. But so that, that I mean, that is just pretty darn sharp. So I'm real pleased with that and I'm going to add that also to my collection. It's, it's great. Um, it's great when I can get stuff to work. My vintage cameras uh, makes me wonder well, how come I thought I had to buy more modern stuff if you know what I mean. Um, it, if you're not going to be printing larger than, say, 16 by 20, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with what I have right now. Now, on that picture, I got some specs here for you. So it's, of course, the D200. That was the D200. The lens was a 200 to 500. Uh, I shot that picture at 500 millimeter, which converts over to 750 millimeter because of the crop factor factor on the D200. And I shot it handheld, 750 millimeter handheld. Gosh, who would ever believe you could do that? I just, I mean, I come back from the old days, you know, the 60s, and the only lens, we could use a 200 millimeter lens on our film cameras and kind of get away with it occasionally. But usually they, we had too much camera shake. Anyway, so the exposure on that was one two thousandths of a second at f5.6, ISO was 400. I'm happy with that picture. I don't know who that boy is. Maybe he'll watch a video, I don't know. Probably not, but anyway. I, I really enjoyed watching him riding out there and uh, and then his family, I think it was probably his family and his dog showed up and and there was just, he was the only person on that lake. It's about a mile 
long, I think. So he had all kinds of room and the snow was deep and he was having a great time. I never did talk to him. He, he saw me taking his picture, but he never came by, which is all right. That's one advantage with a big lens like that. You don't have to interrupt people asking if you want to take their picture. You just take it at, at a long distance. Some of those pictures you saw were pretty far away from me. And the people didn't even realize that they were being photographed. So I, I like shooting with telephoto. It, it, it is enjoyable to me. Um, and I, when, you, when I get some nice pictures like I got here, then yeah, that's even better. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go edit this film and then I think I'm going to just go in and relax for a while. I got some other ideas for some upcoming videos and I'll keep putting them out for you. Thanks a lot for coming by. You guys all have a safe weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.